Okay, so I'm recording the session already. I'm recording. <coughs> so chapter three, yeah, is about uh, electric current and direct current circuits. Okay, uh, direct current, yeah. So what is electrical current? So uh, describe microscopic model of current, define the electric current itself, and use the electric current equation. Okay. So now you need to understand what is current. Yeah. How 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 is the current looks like? Yeah. Microscopic model of current. In metal, the charge carrier is free electrons, and there are a lot of free electrons available in it. So in metal has many ele free electrons. They move freely and randomly in all directions. Okay. Uh, throughout the whole uh, crystal lattice structure of the metal, but frequently interact with the lattices. When the electric field is applied to the metal, the freely moving electrons experience an uh, electric force and drift towards a direction opposite to the direction of field. Okay, so and then an electric current is flowing in the opposite direction of the electron flows. So here uh, becomes when the electron flows, so uh, electric, current, electric current is flowing. Yeah. So figure above shows the charge carrier electrons. Yeah? Electric force is opposite to the electric field and drift velocity is from right to left. Okay, never mind, I will explain about all this. Drift velocity is the mean velocity of free electrons uh, in a direction parallel to the electric field. Okay, so what is all this uh, all about? Yeah, the microscopic model of current. Maybe I explain uh, using, um, you know, this one. Okay. Uh, so, okay, imagine you have a circuit. Yeah, you have a circuit. Okay. Uh, here there is a resistor. Okay. Uh, then you have um, uh, the battery. Okay. Battery has a uh, you know positive and negative terminal, okay. Uh, so here has a resistor, okay. So uh, all you know this this is the whole circuit, okay. Uh, this is the wire or the circuit itself, okay. Plus, this wire is made of what? It's made of uh, we know it's made of copper, right? Or copper or metal, okay. Copper wire. Ah, so we we know that copper wire is a conductor. Why we use conductor instead of instead of insulator? Ah, because uh, we we this cannot be a insulator. This circuit must be a conductor. Because why? Because we want to conduct electric. We want to conduct electric. This conductor, why why this uh, metal or copper can become a conductor? Because it has many free electrons. Ah, free electrons. So it has many free electrons. If insulator, insulator, and uh, it has, it doesn't have any free electrons. No free electrons. Uh, insulator no free electrons that's why insulator cap is not a conductor because it has no free electrons okay Met copper is a conductor because it has many free electrons so what is a charge of electrons electrons is a negative charge understand so now class what happened if you uh you know connect the battery you know this is a battery Uh, what happens if you connect a battery to the circuit, to the con copper wire or copper conductor? What happens if you connect the battery? Ah, See, battery it has positive and negative terminal. So, last time we learned about parallel plate before, isn't it class? We learned about parallel plate before. Huh? Parallel plate before. Ah. So parallel plate also like you know uh, it has a positive plate and negative plate. So 
for parallel plate, uh, what do you have in between the parallel plate? Yes, you have the electric field, isn't it, class? You have the electric field. Uh, so, battery also has, you know, a positive plate and negative plate. It has a positive terminal and negative terminal. Uh, and we can say the whole circuit here, the whole wire here, the whole wire here is like, you know, the area in between the two plates. Uh, so you see, what is the direction of electric field? When you connect the circuit, uh, the conductor to the battery, this battery apply electric field, apply electric field to the whole wire. Uh, okay, let me highlight it. Yeah, let me highlight. So positive and negative plate, positive and negative plate in between them has electric field. Uh, electric field so when battery is connected to the you know connected to the circuit connected to the circuit it apply electric field along the whole wire uh, it apply electric field uh, for the whole wire so that means what is the direction of electric field direction of electric field is from positive to the negative plate Ah, understand? Ah, the direction of electric field. Ah, just like this parallel plate. Ah, the electric field is from positive plate to negative plate. So battery is the same. When connect to the whole circuit, it apply electric field. It apply electric field for the whole circuit. Electric for the whole circuit. And class, this wire it has many. This wire, this copper wire is a conductor, is a metal, is a conductor. It has many free electrons. Number one is coming in. Uh. Why so late? Yeah, why so late? Yeah. Okay, class. So, this uh, copper wire uh, is a conductor. It has many, many what? Many free electrons. Uh, so, I can draw, yeah. Along the whole wire, it has many, many uh, free electrons. Uh, understand? It has many, many free electrons. Uh, so, along the wire, it has many, many free electrons. So, when these uh, free electrons uh, is put under electric field, what happened, class? When this uh, electron is put under, you know, class, these free electrons initially it is um, they move freely and randomly in all directions throughout the whole crystal lattice, yeah, but frequently interact with the lattices. They initially, when there is no electric field, yeah, there is when there is no electric field, no battery. These free electrons they move freely and randomly in all directions. That means what? That means it's like if there is no battery, no electric field, so. What is the mo movement of the wire? Uh, imagine this is like the this is the like the copper wire, yeah. The copper. Let me write. Imagine this is the copper wire, okay. So copper wire it already has many many free electrons. Uh, it has many many free electrons. So so. If there is no electric field, no battery, this uh, ele electron they move ran freely and randomly. They move freely and randomly. That means it uh, it move uh, what direction? It, it move uh, maybe some move this way, that way. You know, it move in uh, zigzag. Uh, yeah, it move in zigzag. Maybe like that, like that, or maybe go going up. Uh, maybe this one go here. And then you know uh like that you know you know why it move uh uh you know zigzag like why it move like that because they have collisions uh yeah because a collision with copper atom because it's a copper wire you know the copper wire it move uh 
randomly freely in all directions. Yeah, it, it const the free electrons constantly collide with copper atom, so they move in all directions. But class, but the thing is, when you put the copper wire uh, under a battery, under a, this battery give electric field for the whole wire. Ah, it gives electric field for the whole wire. So it's like imagine this uh, copper wire. When you put uh, suddenly you put uh, you know uh, let me copy this again. Ah, okay. So when suddenly you put this uh, battery, uh, battery. Uh, this parallel plate is like the battery lah. Yeah, it's like the battery. So uh yeah so it's like uh you have a positive terminal you know battery has a positive terminal and it also has a negative terminal uh so when this circuit this wire is uh, connected to a battery this battery gives electric field for the whole wire uh so this uh, battery gives electric field for the whole wire so uh how to draw it uh so maybe i just draw like this uh it gives electric field Ah, for the whole wire plus. So this copper wire, copper this copper wire is under the effect the electric field of the battery. Ah, this is the battery. Okay. So now can the free electrons? This free electrons is like the test charge. Remember you learned test charge in chapter one. Uh, it's like the test charge uh, inside the electric field. So, when uh, this copper wire is put under the electric field, what happened to the test charge? Will it move, still move randomly in all directions? Will it still move randomly in all directions? Of course not. Uh, because now this test charge is inside the electric field of the battery. So, they will have to move in one direction. Uh, they no longer move freely and randomly uh, because last time they move freely and randomly because there is no battery yeah initially there is no battery no electric field now you uh, put this copper wire under the battery uh, inside the electric field so this electrons charge electron charges now is inside the electric field so they all will be attracted to the positive plate uh, they all will be attracted to the positive plate so now they will all move in one direction so they will move uh okay why why it move why it attracted to positive plate because uh we have this attractive force class we have this attractive force so let's draw it so uh this test charge will experience charge in electric field will experience electric force uh experience all this electric for so this is the F E. Remember we learned about F E equal to Q not E, uh, but this time is the electron charge. Uh, electron charge, yeah. So all of them experience this electric force. Uh, that's why he say you see the notes. He say uh, when electric field is applied to the metal, that means why electric field is applied to the metal? That means battery is applied to the metal. Battery is applied to the uh, copper wire. This freely electron experience uh, electric force and drift towards the direction opposite to the field. Ah, see the force. The force is opposite to the field, opposite to the electric field. Correct, not? Ah, see, F the force is opposite the electric field. Electric field is to the right. The force is to the left. Why like that? Because the test charge is a negative test charge. Ah, uh, if negative test charge. The force is opposite the electric field. Understand? Uh, okay. So it's correct, yeah. So they they have this experience the force to the the post the positive plate. So what happened is they now do not move freely and randomly. They now all drift towards the positive plate. Uh, so I can say uh all drift towards the positive plate. So how should I draw it? Yeah, now they all move. Uh, this that zigzag, zigzag towards the to the positive plate. Uh, why still zigzag? 
uh, why they are still zigzag because they call collision with the copper atom uh, they all move in zigzag a zigzag uh, yeah but but we can say generally they have a, you know they have a drift velocity uh, yeah uh, this is what we call the you know they all have a drift they all drift towards all the electron drift towards the positive plate uh, okay this drift velocity also opposite direction to the electric field okay uh, so okay we know that uh, we also learn about current 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 is uh, you know current is uh we can say current is the rate of flow of charge later we will learn about this it's a rate of flow of charge current is like we can say it's like a positive charge uh it's like a positive charge so when electrons is uh moving to the left electron is moving to the left so current is actually like moving to the right uh okay so current is like moving to the right so electron move to the left. Uh, yeah, when negative charge move to the left, positive charge move to the right. Uh, so the current actually is this direction. Ah, uh, so you must get your direction all correct. Yeah, class. Current uh positive charge. We can say current is like a positive charge. Uh, when uh, electron move to the left, uh positive uh, negative charge move to the left. Positive charge move to the right. Yeah, current is always opposite direction to the electron. Yeah, these are the electrons. Uh, okay, class. Okay, so uh, look again, class. Okay, so look again. So you see, uh, this battery it gives electric field to the electron. So what happened is, uh, like for example, yeah, uh, electric field. Uh, this direction electric field to the left so this electron what happened it experienced the force to the right the force to the right so it uh, has a drift velocity it has drift velocity uh, to the right and to the positive terminal yeah? electron will attract it to the positive terminal but about the current the current is um, Direction of the current is uh, when the, e the electron, when a negative charge going to the right, the current is going to the left. Uh, opposite direction. Because current is like a, we consider current is like positive charge. Of course, some of you may confuse. Only free electrons can move. But now why are you saying that positive charge also flowing? Yeah, uh, some of you may may question me. Um, normally it's only the electrons are moving or flowing. Why suddenly you have positive charge? A uh, good question. Yeah, a good question. So uh, I can say it this way, class. Uh, actually, there are history. Yeah, last time people discover about current first before they discover electrons. Yeah, they don't know the existence of electrons. They they think that it is a positive charge that flows first. They didn't know that it is electron that flows. Yeah, initially they thought that it's a positive charge that flows. So they don't know, even know there is electrons. Uh, that's why we have pop the current first. Then only afterward. Afterward, they people discover about electrons. Yeah, people don't know the existence of electrons initially. Yeah, so they they learn about current first before they learn electron. That's why we we have this flow of positive charge. That is the reason, class. Put it, let's put it this way, class. Yeah, uh, let's put it this way. You see, um, I put it this way, huh? You have electrons here okay you have electrons here okay when uh, this electron move to this position move to the right okay so uh, when it when electron this is the wire layer yeah? we consider this a wire the conductor 
when the electron moves to the right, so it leaves behind it leave it leave behind a hole. Uh, it leave behind a hole become a positive charge. Understand? Because here it's, it's like here loses one electron. Uh, it loses one electron, so it become a you know a positive charge. Ah, so now, uh, now let's say there is another free electrons, another free electrons. It move to this position to fill up this hole, class. To fill up this hole. So what happened is, class. So when the electron move, the electron move to cover this positive uh, hole. So it become a you know it become neutral. The electrons now is over here. So this is no longer a hole. Yeah, but this one has become a positive hole because here loses one electron class ah can, can, do you see what happening what happening here ah so you see when electron is moving to the right actually indirectly indirectly the uh, positive charge is moving to the left see that ah indirectly the positive charge uh, positive charge is moving to the left when the when the electron is moving to the right uh, okay so this electron is the free electron yeah put it this is the free electron and the positive charge is like the current uh, okay okay understand class uh, so is when electron move to fill up this hole so this here become neutral and this one initially last time positive charge is over here but now the positive charge is indirectly moved to the left when the electron is moved to, moving to the right so positive charge and negative charge they are like moving in opposite direction i give another example the example i like to use you have a bot water bottle glass you have a water bottle uh let's say uh, a water bottle okay so um yeah water bottle you have you know um of course you have water yeah you have water right you have water uh, this is the water this is the and this is the air Plus, this is the air. Now, uh, we can imagine this water is like the negative charge. Negative charge. The air is like the positive charge. Uh, so now, if you tilt the bottle, if you tilt the bottle, plus, you tilt the bottle, uh, let me, if you tilt the bottle, okay, how do I draw it? Can I tilt this thing? Uh, this one don't have a tilt function huh? <laughs> okay never mind i redraw it then so uh let's say i tilt the bottle yeah it's already uh you know silk if i tilt the bottle so what happened is uh how to draw uh okay something like that ah uh, okay ah uh, so what happened is now the water is when I tilt the bottle, you know, uh, I make it, I, I tilt, I tilt the bottle, I tilt, yeah. So what happened is um, the bottle now is at the right hand side. Ah, you see that? Plus? Uh, how about the air? The air mo indirectly move to the left. <laughs> see that, class? Ah, uh, if I, if I tilt the bottle, tilt, you know, tilt. Ah, the water has moved to the the water the, like it's like the you know the negative charge uh, this water is like the negative charge the negative charge the negative charge moved to the right but the positive charge moved to the the positive charge or we call it the current uh, move to the opposite direction it fill up 
the water move to the right, of course, the, the air move to the, to the opposite direction. Uh, the air must go in the opposite direction, isn't it? Then the water. So, do you understand, class? Yeah? Do you understand the example? Oops. Yeah. You understand, huh? Uh, okay. I hope you're still listening. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So, okay. So, this is a simple example uh, about what is current. Uh, what is current? What actually happened in current? So, class, many of, uh, many of the, many of students have this misconception. Okay, class. Uh, uh, okay. Many people have this kind of misconception. Yeah. What kind of misconception? Huh? Okay. I connect the battery to the, you know, uh, battery to the positive negative, right? Uh, I connect battery to the circuit, yeah, uh, with resistor R, resistor R. Okay, so this battery, um, battery, I say this battery is, uh, is supply, charge, yeah, it's supply charge to flow in circuit. Is this statement correct, class? The battery supply charge. The battery supply charge is yeah. We can say oh, battery store a lot of electric charge. It store a lot of electric charge. So when you connect the battery, oh, this battery uh, is store a lot of electric charge. So when you connect the battery to the circuit, uh, then uh, this battery supply a lot of charge to flow in the circuit. It supply a lot of charge to flow in the circuit. Is that statement correct, class? Uh, Supplies last supplies. Is that statement connect? I, I want I want to listen to your voice. Uh am, am I am I correct uh to say that am I correct to say that the battery supply the charge to flow in the circuit? Am I correct? Am I correct to say this way? Yeah. What do you think last? The battery supply the charge. The, the charge all come from battery. The charge, uh, the charge all come from battery to flow in the circuit. Is that correct? Is that correct? What do you think? Yeah? Oh uh some some of you may say that oh let's say I don't use battery, I use capacitor. I use capacitor. Okay, we know. Uh, we we say that uh, capacitor stores uh a lot of uh what uh electric charge, yeah, yeah, a lot of electric charge. Once I connect the capacitor to the 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 wire, then the charge the capacitor release all the electron, release all the electron uh to flow in the circuit. Uh, it there. Yeah? In other way, we can say, oh, the capacitor supply a lot of electron to flow in the circuit. Is that correct, class? What do you think, class? Come on, I, I need to listen. You, you say yes or no, at least. Yeah, what do you think? Yes. You say, okay, battery supply the charge to flow in the circuit. The, all the charge come from battery, yeah? Or oh, battery banyak charge, dia banyak charge. So, dia, dia bagi charge uh, untuk mengalir dalam uh, lita ini, yeah? Charge semua keluar dari battery, betul ke? Charge semua keluar dari battery, betul ke? Ah. So, this statement uh, is wrong, uh, is no. The charge does not come from battery. The charge does not come from battery. That what happened is what actually happened is battery. I should put this in blue lah. Yeah. Ah, battery supply. Oops, battery supplies energy to the existing free electrons charges. In the 
circuit to flow. Ah, battery supply energy. Understand, glass? Why should I draw? Now you realize what are you learning, ah, glass? Now you realize a uh, battery supply energy is supply what you call EMF. EMF. Uh, to the existing free electrons charges. This charge already exists in the circuit. Plus, these free electrons already in the circuit. The charged electron does not come from battery. This is a conductor. It, it already has the free electrons. But these free electrons initially is moving randomly. The, all the free electrons is moving randomly in the copper wire. It does not move in the one direction. But once you put the battery, once you put the battery, then this uh, battery supply electric field. It supply electric field to the whole wire. And this electron, under the influence of electric field, they experience this electric force. And the, because of this electric force, they start to move in all in. Uh, in one direction towards the positive plate. Do you see this electron come from where? This free free electron come from where? Is it come from battery? Is it all all the free electrons supplied by the battery? Or is it the free electron already exists in the wire? Yeah. This free electron already exists in the wire. But the battery helps when you put the battery the battery helps to pull. It helps to pull all the free electrons towards a positive plate. This force comes from where? This force comes from the battery. Uh, when when you uh you know work done equal to force time displacement. When you do when you use a force to move something, force times displacement, you do a work. You do a work. So this work done. Is done by the battery. This work done is done by battery. Yeah? Uh, it pulls the electron to the positive plate. This force comes from battery. So this uh, battery has done, has do a work. Has done, this battery has done work. That means it supply energy. Work done equal to energy. Understand? It supply energy for the free electrons in the circuit to flow ah so charge i should write this statement big and bold huh? charge <laughs> sorry let me make it bigger oops uh charge uh uh do not come from battery uh, it already exists in the circuit as free electrons but it is the battery uh, who uh, make them move. Ah, so I can say battery does the work to move them. Or battery supply the electrical energy. Understand, class? Uh, okay. So this is the thing. I, what I can say is um, this battery is like a water pump. You know that? Uh, I can say it's like, you know, uh, it's like um, uh, a water pump. Uh, a water pump. 
Uh, it's like water pump. Oops. Okay. Uh, so excuse me. A water pump. Okay. So this is a water pump. Yeah, just like the battery. Okay, I want to ask you, the, the water in the pipe, is it come from the pump? Yeah? Kalau rumah kamu ada uh, water pump, tahu ka, ka, rumah kamu ada water pump tak? Ah, macam uh, certain place, uh, tak cuk, uh, air tak cukup kan, tak cukup kuat kan? So, they need water pump, they need water pump uh, in their home, at their home. They need a water pump at their home. So, is the water come from the water pump? The water. Is it come from the water pump? This is the water. Ah. Air datang dari mana? Air ini datang dari mana? Air ini datang dari water pump ke? <laughs> yeah? Air ini datang dari water pump. Kalau dia datang dari water pump, wah, then that means uh, you have uh, free free supply of water all the time that means you tak payah bayar bill in IA IA semua datang free saja dari water pump dia macam generate itu water to the water pipe ha huh? ha huh, class you understand what i what i'm saying kalau IA itu datang dari water pump datang dari battery ya yeah? IA ini macam charge lah understand IA ini macam charge kalau charge ini Atau air ini come from the water pump. That means you have free water all the time. You don't need to pay the bill. Yeah, your bill water bill is zero ringgit. Wow, you have free water all the time. You can drink. Yeah, if the water pump can magically generate the water. No, water pump. What's the function? It's not to supply the charge or supply the water. It's to supply the energy needed to. Push the water to flow in the circuit in the water pipe. Uh, it's, it it uh, you know, it push uh, it 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 motto you know, uh, it make it make the water to flow in the circuit, uh, in the water pipe. Uh, it uh, you know, rotate to make the it supply energy to. This water pump push the water. The water already exists in the pipe. The water already exists in the pipe. The water does not come from the water pump. It, the water pump is just to push the water to flow in the pipe. Understand, class? Uh, so I think uh, uh, that's the main concept I want to talk about. Lah. Yeah. So again, yeah. Uh, to sum up the, the, the story. Yeah, of microscopic model of current. Today I'm just talk about this microscopic of current. Yeah. Uh, okay. To sum up, what happened is, okay. So when a, uh, initially there are many free electrons, many free electrons in the circuit, and they all move freely and randomly. They all move freely and randomly. When there's no electric field, but suddenly you connect this battery, you connect this battery. What happened? This battery supply electric field for the whole circuit. Uh, it supply e electric field for the whole circuit. Uh, supply electric field. Let's take this. Uh, let's take this positive charge example. Yeah, I can say a positive. Uh, okay, so electric field for the e supply electric field for the whole circuit. So I can consider like uh, this uh, positive plate, negative plate. I can consider like okay, that means this this uh, this um, this area it has positive plate, and this a this place is negative plate. Okay, so your electric field, your electric field is uh, to the your electric field is to the your electric field is to the right. Uh, so it the force is to the right. Eh no, force is to the left because attracted to the positive plate. Uh, so it has electric uh, force to the left. So the drift velocity also to the the drift velocity also to the left. 
uh, it start to drift to the positive plate. Uh, so electron uh, drift uh, to the left, uh, po uh, negative charge to the left, so positive charge to the right. Uh, positive charge to the right. So current to the right. Okay, so these four directions I need you to uh, remember. Electric field to the right, uh, force to the left, drift velocity to the left, finally current to the right. So these four directions you must identify. Okay, class, do you understand today's class? Okay, yeah? uh, so uh, that's all about uh, current. Okay, that's all about current. So I will um, uh, upload this video later on, yeah, in the about my own microscopic model of current, yeah. I will upload this video in the YouTube, lah. Okay, so that's all for today, yeah. Thank you, class. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Right. Thank you, sir. Okay. Welcome.